Oh. I have not filmed in so long, so it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one to start off, you were gonna hear cats because we now have two cats. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Let me just get adjusted. I am actually filming, I think, somewhere that I've like never filmed a sat down video. Um, I'm filming in our bedroom and mostly because Amelin is asleep, like right here underneath the little mobile. Um, she was playing and she fell asleep. But yeah, it's a uh, weird being back. Um, we basically just like dropped off the face of the earth during the month of February. Literally like as soon as February hit, we were hit with like the most horrible cold like we have ever had. And I think it's because Joanna has started to go to like a little like nursery whenever I go to church um, some days to go and be a part of a mom group. And uh, yeah, so she's never really been a part of anything like that. So that is definitely where she got this like icky, icky virus. So uh, Joanna got really sick. Um, it was like all sorts of just like drainage. And it was more just like a head cold and it was just awful. Um, so we all had like super runny noses, like eye drainage, which is so weird. Um, really sore throats, obviously, because, you know, all your sinuses like clear out when you're sleeping and it makes it awful and yeah so we were like that oh and fevers <laughs> it was just awful i took the girls to the doctor three times total because i was like what the heck is going on um they even had fevers i think i just said that i don't know whatever um fevers i had a fever joanna had a fever amelin had a fever <laughs> Just on and off, like, it would seem like we'd get really, really to a good spot, and we were, like, getting ready to get over this cold, and then we'd, like, crash land again, and it was just, it was awful. Um, I thought we were all getting better, and then, uh, Joanna started teething. All four of her canines decided to come through at the same time as well. Um, and then Amlin thought she was all better, and then she spiked, like, a 101 fever, she had an ear infection and Joanna never had an ear infection and Amlin had like literally no other symptoms besides a really really high fever like she wasn't pulling on her ears or acting really like fussy or irritable but I was like uh we're going in because this is not okay and sure enough she had an ear infection so yeah so basically we just had a monster cold lots of teething and an ear infection I tried to vlog and it was just not working so here's just a couple just random clips that you guys can enjoy of us over the past month we have yeah. cranky babies because we all have another cold and we ran out of toilet paper this morning so there's that and Mitchell broke his phone wow wow <laughs> she loves the swing set do you need a swing set yeah okay we'll work on that do you feel like a dad? Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> <gasps> Say good morning. <laughs> you look like a little kid, not a little baby anymore. <laughs> Love me. Hey, Jojo, are you playing with Sissy? Are you playing? Yeah. Yeah, with Sissy. You're so sweet. Jojo loves to do this. She does this like pretty much every single time we get the little play gym out. Yeah. Oh, you want milk? Come on. Amelin. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what were you just talking about? We talking about how you're like the cutest baby in the whole wide world. Hmm? Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. And you're so smart. And growing so well. And getting so big. <gasps> I love your shoes that you're gonna wear today. She's really into dressing herself if you can't tell. <laughs> Wow, I love it. I love that so much. 
That's a good outfit. Are you ready to go? Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. He starts to come out and then he sees me. He's like, uh. If you're confused by the last clip, it is actually a clip. I'm gonna actually just like reinsert it. Oh. Oh. He starts to come out and then he sees me. He's like, uh. This clip is Joanna meeting her new kittens. Technically, our whole family's kittens. So we thought we'd get two because they were siblings. And, uh, you know, Joanna could have a cat and Amelyn could have a cat. And if you have, you know, been following us a while, you're probably like, doesn't Joanna already have a cat? Because we actually got Joanna a cat whenever she turned four months old because Mitchell and I are just like big animal lovers and we just knew that like the one thing that we wanted for our children was for them to like have pets growing up, you know, cause they're fighting by the way. Not like evil fighting or anything like that. They're just being kittens. Anyways, um, but so we got Huxley. Um, if you've again been around, like she has always been in our vlogs and stuff. And uh, yeah. Um, <sighs> I tried so hard not to cry. <laughs> um, but we got Huxley when Joanna was four months old. Um, now Joanna is 19 months old and um, at the end of February, um, all of a sudden, like, it, it literally, like, this happened over a, a three-day period. Um, over the weekend, over one weekend, I don't know the exact dates right now, but um, over the weekend, uh, like, Huxley, all of a sudden, like, we woke up in the morning, and, uh, like, I woke up, we were just, you know, waking up and whatnot. Huxley always sleeps with us, and, um, I was going to our restroom, which is, like, over there, and Huxley, like, got out of bed, and she started to, like, sound like she was gonna throw up, but, you know, if you've ever had a cat, cats just, like, throw up, hairball, just throw up, because they eat things that they're not supposed to. And so, I actually got her to throw up on something. I was like, here, throw up on this. And she did it, because she was perfect. And um, so she threw up, and then a couple minutes later, she threw up again. And so, you know, I was like, Mitchell, like, please call your dad. Like, let's just see, like, what he thinks is going on. Because Mitchell had also gone downstairs and noticed that Huxley hadn't eaten any of the food that Mitchell had given her last night, because he usually, you know, feeds her or all the cats um that's just what he does because he gets up early in the morning and then when he comes home from work it's just like dinner time for the cats um so he noticed that and if you don't know um Mitchell's dad is a vet and he is awesome um but um he told us to just like watch her and go and get some wet food and see if she would eat that because maybe she just like you know ate something she wasn't supposed to and needed to like try to digest it so Mitchell went out, he got some wet food for her and whatnot, and you know, we see, it seemed like it was going really well. She ate a little bit of it and you know, was fine, and then a little bit later had some more, which was, you know, good, and then she threw it all up. So, you know, his dad was like, all right, go ahead, like, let's just plan to bring her in tomorrow. That was a Saturday, because I remember we brought her up to him on a Sunday. And him and Mitchell, they just checked her out, and they did x-rays and everything. And um, in the x-rays, they saw that she, like, obviously was, like, backed up, like, had a lot of poop that she needed to get out. So they were just going to go ahead and give her, like, an enema to get that out, because hopefully that was just, like, her issue, you know just constipated and not feeling good because like obviously like when humans are constipated and we don't feel good you can get a little nauseous yeah but um so there's that but also um he noticed that he was like hey like Huxley's kidneys are like probably like 50% larger than like most cats and so um, at this point, like, he didn't, he had, didn't have any, like, bud work run, like, that same day, because he was just trying to see, like, what was going on, um, and, um, he just, you know, just said, like, like, let's not worry about it, like, I'll run blood work tomorrow, and then we'll see what that says, and then, like, go from there, so, <sighs> so, the next day, blood work was ran, um, Huxley finally pooped, and, um, 
was kind of eating, so that was good. So we thought she was doing better. Um, labs were run, and then um, I get a call from Mitchell, um, and he tells me that Huxley was in complete renal failure. <laughs> And, um, if you don't know what that means, that means her kidneys were failing. Um, and... <sighs> Sorry, like, Huxley was a part of our family, and <laughs> when you have a pet, they're, like, a commitment. They're such a, like, strong commitment, and, you know, Mitchell and I love animals, and he, he like, they literally, like, she was, like, our fur child. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous, but, like, if you don't love your pets like that, like, you shouldn't have a pet. But, um, because they really are a part of your family. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so basically, um, after, um, uh, Mitchell's father talked to, you know, his professional opinion, and then he talked to the other doctors in his practice, um, basically... Huxley had congenital renal failure, so she had to have inherited from either her mom or her dad, <laughs> and um, it's not something that we could have predicted or seen coming or literally anything. Like, we couldn't have known until it was happening, and when, she, like, she had such severe, like, kidney failure, like, we literally couldn't have done anything. He said that we could have tried to manage it with um, medication, but she maybe would have lived a month and would have been just, like, absolutely miserable. Um, and so, basically, whenever I got that call, I was here at home, and um, I drove. I, I drove up to where um, his clinic is, and as soon as I saw Huxley, like, she literally, like, looked like a wilted flower. Like, she, I could just see it in her eyes just how miserable she was, and it was just awful um so Mitchell and I you know made the decision <laughs> to um have Huxley put down or put to sleep because she just was so miserable and there's literally nothing we could have done for her which is just like an awful place to be in <laughs> um but it was really sweet because um and Mitchell and I and Joanna and were able, and Amelin, but Amelin, you know, <laughs> doesn't really know what's going on, were able to just, like, spend some time with Huxley and, um, um, yeah, before he put her, put her to sleep, so that was just really sweet and what we needed, but it just was a really hard time because Huxley has always been there, really. <laughs> And, like, I spent a lot more time with Huxley than, like, Mitchell did. Not, like, as a shot towards Mitchell, but, like, at home, it's always been me, Joanna, and Huxley <laughs> until Amelin was born. And so, like, I was just so used to having that, like, little buddy. <laughs> and Joanna was, too, because literally anything Joanna did, like, Huxley was, like, right on her heels, like, playing or just, like, watching her or just, I don't know. They were just really funny. So, yeah, but that's what happened. Um, at the end of February, and it just absolutely sucked, and Mitchell and I were just so crushed. <laughs> and, um, it just so happened, though, that, um, like, Mitchell got a text from his sister, like, she was so, so sweet. She's, like, one of my favorite people ever. <laughs> um, but she just, like, texted Mitchell and was like, I don't know if this is too soon or not, because it literally was, like, the day after Huxley passed away. Um, she was like... I don't know if this is too soon, but somebody I know, like, has found two kittens and they need a home. Um, do you guys want to adopt them? <laughs> so, she doesn't live close. She actually lives in a completely other state. And, uh, Mitchell and I decided that weekend we would drive down and we'd go get them. Because the best thing that we could do for us and our family and for, like, how sad we were was to just, like, you know, love some more kittens and just like fill that little Huxley sized hole in our heart obviously nobody could replace her but these, these kittens are so sweet and honestly like we couldn't have gotten two better cats um so the new kittens we have their names are Floyd and Willow and they are about nine weeks old now and they are so sweet <laughs> um 
they they just like fit into our family so perfectly. They're they're crazy, they're rambunctious, and they but they are so cuddly and so just like tolerant of like children. <laughs> so it's awesome. But yeah, so that's basically what's been going on with us. And I'm just a big hot mess of old adult woman right now, crying over my cat. So yeah, but. I'm gonna have another vlog up this week as well. I hope you guys enjoy this update, even though I cried for like 10 minutes of it. Um, but yeah, Emily needs me, so I gotta go. Thanks for watching, guys.